but here let me give you the formula for this take a look at this thing uh, and then we'll get into the vectors okay um, slick make T take a look at this thing a triangle okay doesn't make a difference what type of triangle the sum of the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees so this angle plus that angle plus that angle sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees okay that's the sum of the angles in a triangle I need to start killing pens I'm gonna start killing pens gang let me know if this is not coming out bright enough for you okay I was gonna go get some uh, pens but I didn't get a chance to do it okay what's 61 <laughs> it's like my uh, um, Odyssey channel it's like my Odyssey channel it's like a 69 your device is always taken deeply Ronnie take so some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees right now if these sides are the same equal then each one is X X X which means all the angles are the same right so let's kill the X here if all the sides are the same then all the angles are X X X right because all the angles control the size right so basically X plus X plus X has to equal 180 degrees because they're all the same so 3x is equal to 180 degrees and you divide by 3 so X is equal to 60 degrees right now here's a four-sided shape and we'll go up to five-sided shape and I'll give you the lowdown on this right so whenever you want to find the sum of the angles in any polygon break it down into triangles right so a four-sided polygon if you break it into two triangles from one point you break it into triangles then this triangle this these angles added up are 180 and these angles added up are 180 so the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral so four-sided triangle is 360 degrees because it's two triangles so two times 180 right what the hell is this complicated <laughs> i'm only eighth grade you're gonna do this by the way uh you end up doing this in grade grade nine okay uh, pay attention here you'll see it all of a sudden i'll just click and you go ah oh, this is simple right like you have two triangles here one triangle two triangle what's the sum of the angles in this triangle 180 degrees what's the sum of the angles in this triangle 180 degrees what's 180 plus 180 360 right so the sum of the angles sum of angles in a quadrilateral in this i'm just going to say in this is equal to two times 180 degrees which is equal to 360 degrees okay make sense okay okay done deal watch this seriously you're gonna this comes up to you in grade maybe even grade eight right now let's try a five-sided and then we're going to come up with the equation for this so five-sided polygon now it doesn't have to be a regular polygon remember regular regular polygon means all sides are equal they're all the same length right so let's assume they are or they're we don't care if they are or they aren't right now right so we want to right now figure out what the sum of the angles in this pentagon is because this is a five-sided polygon right so we want to find out what this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to okay so what we do we say okay let's break up this pentagon into triangles because we know the sum of a angles in a triangle is 180 degrees right so i'm going to kill this so it's not as uh, busy right so start up one node and make a triangle so you can't make a triangle there that's just a straight line so there's one triangle and then you already used up this one we went to here and then draw another line to there right and then that's all we can do we can make 
three triangles, right? So one, two, three triangles. Well, what's the sum of the angles in this pentagon? Three times 180, because each one of these is 180, right? So three times 180 is basically 180 added to this, because we just added one more 180 to a four-sided one, right? There was two here, one, two, now there's three, right? If we add these, so we get zero, four, one goes up, so 540 degrees, right? That's what the angles in a five, in a pentagon look like. Okay, this is scary now, because it looks complicated. He is helping me. <laughs> so, I would have drawn five fun now take a look at this thing you would have drawn five <laughs> yeah you don't want to draw it five now take a look at this thing let's figure out okay a possible formula for us to figure out what the sum of the angles in a higher sided polygon is like six sided or seven sided or eight sided right so let's do yeah one two three four five six question what's the sum of the angles in a six-sided polygon right in a six-sided polygon okay now take a look this was a four-sided polygon and we had two times 180 this was a five-sided polygon and we had three times 180 right this was a three-sided polygon and we had one times 180 right so one triangle two triangles three triangles right well what's the pattern that you see one triangle how many sides did it have it had three sides right okay quadrilateral has four sides pentagon has five sides right now take a look at this thing here is the formula to figure out what the sum of the angles in any polygon are right you go n so you say let let and a let statement in mathematics is your friend let n okay equal number of sides in a polygon and a polygon is a shape like this that encloses right and it can't have jagged ends going in okay now take a look so let n equal number of sides in a polygon. So this has got three sides. This has got four sides. This has got five sides, right? Now, the way we can come up with the formula is this. Padre, padre, padre. Geometry is fun as hell. Uh, uh, David, uh, it just looks complicated because you're new to it. Yeah, indeed, right? Once you get into it, it's easy. It can be easy, it could be very complicated. You could go into topology, which is just mind trip, right? How's Twitch explaining this better than my teacher? <laughs> it's, it's not Twitch, it's Chicho. <laughs> now take a look. The formula is this. Sometimes it's, it's a guessing game. You massage a formula until it fits, right? For this one, you write it down as n minus 2 times 180 okay this is equal to the sum of the angles in a polygon equals sum of angles in n sided polygon this is the formula. Let me do this in red. Okay.
you want to write this down if you're studying this n minus 2 times 180 equals the sum of the angles in an n sided polygon so let's try it out for this this is six sides right so according to this formula sum of the angles sum of angles is equal to 6 minus 2 times 180 which is equal to 4 times 180 which is equal to 720 degrees okay if that's the case let's see if we can it means we're gonna to have to be able to make four triangles right four triangles in this thing well let's try it out one triangle two triangles three triangles four triangles one two three four see the pattern a triangle has one triangle inside it a quadrilateral has two triangles inside it a pentagon five-sided polygon has three triangles inside it a six-sided polygon has four triangles inside it okay what is a 12-sided triangle uh, 12 sided polygon what's the sum of the angles for a 12-sided polygon so I don't even know how to draw a 12 sided polygon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> how do you just draw a 12 sided polygon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go. I know it looks like a circle because it basically is, right? So let's assume this is 12 sided. 12 sided well the sum of the angles sum of angles is equal to 12 minus 2 times 180 which is 10 times 180 which is equal to 1800 degrees right how many triangles in a 12-sided polygon 10 Ta -da. okay with add-ons, a circle with add-ons, right? <laughs> dodge going, it's dodge going, <laughs> right? So that's the formula, easy, right? That's the formula to figure out the sum of the angles in any sided polygon. Did that make sense? David, 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 David. Is, is that okay? All right. Now, if I was you, if I was in grade eight or grade nine. I take a screenshot of this right now and have that as a note right because it gives you what you need to be able to do a whole bunch of different types of problems now there's one more level to this math eighth grade math eighth grade yes i'm kind of getting it awesome now watch this she's just about to get real for when you go to high school indeed now watch this i'm going to erase this 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 okay and this and we'll just do the remaining work here now a regular polygon okay i will take a screenshot okay and you, you can do it when if you you can rewatch the video and just freeze it at that moment right but this is a time stamp of 28 minutes no when did we start 11 oh wow 58 minutes into the video <laughs> watch this regular polygon here's a definition for you regular polygon regular polygon means all sides the same length okay all sides are the same length okay now if all the sides are the same length okay then what's each one of these angles right because the way it works is if i draw you a shape right let's say a triangle if i say this is 60 degrees and i say this is 60 degrees then this side has to equal that side right 
And if that's 60, that's 60. Some of the angles in a triangle is 180. 60 times 60, yeah, 90, 45, 45 works too. Here, we'll do this. Here's 45. 45. Well, some of the angles in a triangle is 180. So 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 minus 180 is 90. So this one has to be 90 degrees, right? Okay. But an angle controls the opposite side. So this angle, if that's the same as that, then that length is the same as that. So if I say it's a regular polygon, right? It means all the sides are the same, which means all the angles are the same. And if all the angles are the same, and the total sum of the angles, for example, in a quadrilateral full four-sided polygon is 360, then to find each one, you just take 360 divided by four. Five-sided polygon, you want to find out what each one of these angles is? You divide it by five. You got five sides. Six-sided, you divide it by six. So the way it works is you go uh, regular polygon equals all sides, uh, all sides the same length, right? Then all angles are equal. Okay. So once all angles are equal, it, it goes without say that each angle, <laughs> Sunny Leo 98 is in like Flynn throws us the equation, right? All you do, you divide the total, um, then all angles equal. Therefore, and this is mathematicians taking shortcuts. Mathematicians are lazy. They shorten everything, right? So this is angles, right? Instead of writing angles, I draw an angle and put an S on it, right? Then total, uh, then each angle, each, oops, that's not an each, that's equal. Each angle is equal to the total divided by number of sides. Well, the total is this formula. And the number of sides is n, right? And as Sunny Lee, Sunny Sun in Leo says, Sun in Leo ninety eight says, it's going to be the formula is n minus two times one hundred and eighty divided by n. That's what each angle is going to be in a regular polygon. Okay. Is that clear? Does that make sense? And this is the way formulas are derived, right? You come up with one formula, right? You come up with one formula and you build on that one formula based on different metrics you want to calculate, right? Remember, the mathematics we know, all of the mathematics we know, the mathematics that we've used to send people to the moon, right? To come up with technology where I, in West Coast of Canada, can live stream a math tutoring session to you, wherever you might be, is based on five rules, five axioms, five rules. We try to explain the Big Bang. What? 